Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install a smart light switch with Alexa built in. So, this is a smart light switch from Leviton, which means you can control it from your phone, but it also has an Alexa speaker and Alexa microphones built into this. So, not only can you control it from your phone, but you can control it with voice directly through the light switch, as well as any other Alexa device. So, we're going to get started installing this. Number one thing that you need to do before you do any electrical work is go ahead and turn the power off to this light switch. So you can see that the power is off because this light is no longer on. I recommend you do the same thing. Turn the light switch on, go down to your circuit breaker, turn off the power at the circuit breaker, and then just to be safe if you want to, you can check this with a non-contact voltage meter to make sure there's no voltage. So now that we have no power, all we're gonna do is go ahead and remove these screws just like so on the cover plate for the light switch. So go ahead and remove both the top and the bottom screw. Now that these screws are removed, we can remove the cover plate. Once again, make sure the power is off before that you work on any of this and use a non-contact voltage meter or a multimeter if you have one to confirm the power is off. Otherwise, make sure you've got the light switch on right here and that the light bulb is off and you've got the circuit breaker off to this as well as if you don't know what circuit breaker is, go ahead and turn all of them off to your house while you do this just to be safe. Now, to remove this, all you're gonna do is go ahead and take both screws out right here. So you can use a Phillips bit or just a standard flathead bit and go ahead and remove the two screws that hold the light switch in on the junction box. Now that we have these screws removed from the light switch, we can pull this forward out of the junction box, which is gonna make it easier for us to work on. So what I like to do is just go ahead and pull this a little bit forward and then tilt it to one side or the other so you can see what's going on with this light switch. Now, before you go any further, what I recommend you do is go ahead and take a picture. So I'm just gonna zoom in. You wanna make sure you take a picture of the wiring back here what wires are here, what wires are connected here. And it's just gonna make it a lot easier when you go to reconnect your new light switch, regardless if it's this one or another one, just good practice. So go ahead, pause for a minute, take a picture. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen the terminals on each side here, as well as the ground wire screw over here. And then we will have the wiring ready to install for the new smart light switch. One thing to note about this smart light switch is that it does require a neutral wire, so you've got to have that. When you open up the light switch box, you can check to see if you have a neutral wire. It's typically going to be a white wire, just like we've got here. So we do have a neutral wire, which means that our system is compatible. If you don't have a neutral wire, there are other, are other options for installing a smart light switch. You just can't use this one with Alexa built in. However, if you've got a neutral wire, no problem. You can install this and pretty much any other smart light switch out there. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these two screws and get started with getting the wiring set up for the new light switch. Now we go ahead and we remove the ground screw. You can see on the back of this light switch, we've got several different wires here. So the red wire right here, that is the load wire. That's what goes up to the load or wherever your light switch or light bulb is. So from the light switch to the light bulb, that's your load wire because it's carrying the load. The black wire is the hot wire. So that's gonna be the incoming power. The white wire is the neutral wire. So we're gonna connect that to this white wire here. And the green wire is the ground wire. Now there's one left, what is that? Well, the yellow wire, that is a traveler wire if you're going to use this in a three-way switch application. This will work in three-way switches. So that's what that yellow one is for. We're not gonna use that one here, so don't need to worry about it. So we know which wires are what because we took a picture, but right here, this one going up to the light switch, that's our load wire. Right here, this is our hot wire. This is our ground wire here, and this is our neutral wire. So that's all we need to know in order to wire this up. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, pull off the little ends on each one of these that we're gonna use so that we can wire them in a little bit better and then get them wired in. Now, since we are using wires here, we're gonna to need to use wire nuts to twist these together. 
In order to get a good connection with the new wires, we've got these curved hooks on the old wires. So we're just gonna straighten those out so that we can get those into a wire nut uh, really well. So what I like to do, we've got our hot wire coming in and our hot wire on a light switch. Get it started uh, wrapping those around and then we're gonna take a wire nut and we're gonna finish it off by just continuing to wrap these two together and twist the wire nut. So now let's go ahead and do our load wire. Make sure that we straighten this existing one out so that it will go in the wire nut. And then we're going to connect it to our load wire, the red wire on the light switch. Go ahead, take another wire nut and screw it down. Now we've got our ground wire here and we've got our existing ground wire, this unshielded copper wire. So we're gonna take those and twist those together. And once again, use another wire nut to connect the two wires. So just go ahead, get it started with a little twist there, and then take our wire nut and wire these two together, the ground wires. That leaves us with only one wire left on the existing switch that we need to connect, this white wire, which is the neutral wire. And we've got our neutral wires back in the junction box. So we just pull those forward so they're a little bit easier to work with. And for this one, all we're gonna do here is remove the existing wire nut and then add this extra wire from the light switch to it. So go ahead, get that started, and then put that wire nut back on and twist it together till we feel all three of them twisted together. So now we've got all the wires ready for this light switch and we've got our extra wire here. You can just go ahead and cap it off with a spare wire nut. Now that we've got everything wired up, we are ready to put this back into the junction box and start everything up and turn the power on. So in order to do that, what I like to do is fold the wires back into the box carefully. What I found is that if you can get these wire nuts as far to the sides of the box and the back of the box, the easier it's gonna to be to get this light switch in because as you can see, this light switch does have a fair amount of depth to it and width and uh, sometimes it can be hard getting the wires back in there. So it's a little bit of playing wire origami to get everything back into the switch box. So we're gonna go ahead and fold the wires down in there and get them in here with this electrical. Now we've got the light switch in and all we need to do is go ahead and take the two screws that hold the light switch into the junction box and start screwing those in. Now that we have the electrical switch secured in the junction box, we can go ahead and take our cover plate and reinstall this with the two screws for the cover plate. Screw this on, and once we've got this screwed on, it is safe to then go turn the power on and get this thing started up. And you have successfully then installed this Alexa light switch or smart light switch with Alexa built in. But a lot of you probably wanna see how this works, so we're gonna go ahead and set it up and start up and show you how we've used this with Alexa voice commands so that you can control it with your voice. All right, we've got the light switch installed here and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power on. Okay, so we have the power back on to the light switch and you can turn it on and off just by pressing the buttons here, but you can also now, once we've got this set up, control it with your phone or with voice. So we're gonna go ahead and do that setup now and show you how this can be controlled with your voice and or from the phone. In order to control the device with ALEXA or using your phone, you're gonna to need to install the Leviton app, which is available both on Android and iPhone. So we go to the My Leviton app and I'm just gonna go ahead and install this. With the app downloaded, go ahead, click open and get started setting it up. I don't have an account yet, so I'm going to create a new username and password, just clicking sign up. It says, thanks for registering, and I need to confirm the email address, so I'll go ahead and do that. Once I've confirmed my email, it asks me to make a residence name. I'm just going to leave it as is and click continue. If you would like to use the scheduling feature of this app, we need to know your residence location. I'm just gonna go ahead and say skip this step for now. Now it says add a device, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that to add the smart light switch. It gives us a selection of different light switches to choose from here, and I am going to add the voice dimmer, which is what I installed. 
The smart light switch is flashing green, so I'm gonna go ahead and click start. The app will then ask you to enable Bluetooth, which you will need to do. You will then select your device from the menu below, and once selected, it will start connecting to your Wi-Fi network. You will need to then select your Wi-Fi network and enter your password in order to connect the device. It asked me to name the device, and because I want to use this with ALEXA, I'm going to give it an easy to use name. So for this, we're just going to call it Basement. If I want to connect it to Amazon so that I can control it with Alexa commands, I'm going to need to log in with my Alexa account, which I'm going to do now. It says Leviton Voice Dimmer would like access to Alexa. I go ahead and click Allow. Now that we have the Smart Dimmer connected to the app, I can control it from the app, or I can use voice commands to control it, or I can control it using one of the buttons here and adjust the dimming levels as I choose. But you can also use this as an ALEXA device, or you can mute it by tapping the button up here, which will mute the Alexa functionality. So I'm going to unmute it and show you how you can use this as an ALEXA device. Alexa, turn on basement. Alexa, turn off basement. Alexa, what's the weather today? In Chicago, it's 53 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Tonight, you can look for just a few clouds in the sky with a low of 53 degrees. Not only can I use the Alexa device to turn on or off the light switch, I can also use it in standard Alexa functionality, just like an Echo Dot or any other Alexa speaker. So this will work to control the light switch when using ALEXA commands, or I can control other smart devices through this because this is basically a light switch with Echo Dot built in essentially, or I can play music, or ask at the news or weather updates as we just showed you. So overall, pretty neat little switch. Um, this is the mute button. This is the microphone uh, for the ALEXA device. This is the speaker. And then this is on, this is off. And then if you hold either one of these, it will turn up or down the dimming levels for the light switch. Now you can also use other Alexa devices to control this by saying, Alexa, turn on the basement light, or Alexa, turn off the basement light when using another Alexa device, or you can use this Alexa device in order to control it. So thank you for watching this. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, please subscribe, and we will see you next time.